Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to deploy React application into the render hosting platform. So, so render is a uh, cloud-based uh, platform uh, where you can deploy your uh, uh, front-end applications, back-end uh, uh, servers, and many kind of things. So uh, you can see we can instantly deploy your apps with uh, uh, simple steps by selecting the service type and specifying the commands. And uh, the best thing is whenever you have you push changes to your repository, uh, your render will automatically uh, detect uh, the changes and it will redeploy automatically uh, your changes uh, to the site. So what are all you can uh, run on this uh, platform? Uh, so you can uh, deploy your uh, uh, backend APIs uh, uh, using this web service. You can deploy uh, React applications and frontend applications into the static sites. And you can run many more. Uh, for example, uh, you can run a cloud hosted Postgres SQL database on this render platform so let's jump on to our uh, uh, deployment so here i have a react application so i have uh, uh, created a simple uh, react uh, react app using uh, create react app command so it is currently running on my local host uh, as you can see, I have started in my local uh, host. Okay, so now uh, once you sign up and log in to the dashboard, uh, you can uh, see uh, on the dashboard uh, you will you will have the ability to uh, create a new service. So once you click on your uh, uh, on the new button, like you can select the service. So in our case, uh, we need to deploy our React application, right? So we need to select the static site. And here you can see uh, you, you need to configure your GitHub. So here I have uh, already configured my GitHub account. Uh, so that's why uh, we can see uh, my repositories uh, here. So let's jump on to GitHub. Uh, plat account and let's create a new repository for our uh, react application so i'm naming it as uh, right so it can be public or private it's up to you so let's create the repository Okay, so since we have already created uh, our uh, uh, React application using the React uh, command, so we need to configure the remote repository with our uh, local repo. So let's uh, let's check the Git status. Okay. So let's add the remote origin. Okay. So now uh, I'm pushing uh, this code uh, uh, in our uh, local machine to the remote repository on GitHub. Okay, so the code has been uh, pushed. So let's check our uh, uh, render dashboard. So it should it should uh, show our uh, repository. So so as you can see, it has the detected uh, the repo. So I'm selecting this one. So here. Uh, we need to provide uh, uh, a unique name for our site. So 
so here i am giving okay so the branch name is automatically detected and uh, uh, here you can see we need to uh, since uh, we are not deploying uh, node modules right into our repository so uh, we need to install the packages first so npm install and then npm run build so once our code has been built then uh, since we are uh, here using the build uh, directory publish directory is built so it will uh, uh, take that uh, distributed build and it will uh, try to uh, render uh, on this site so now uh, in case if we have to add any environment variable so here uh, on the advanced section uh, we can go ahead and add uh, environment variables if any so here i'm not adding anything right so now uh, we can simply click on create static site so this may take up to uh, three to five minutes so once this is done uh, we can go ahead and uh, check this uh, link okay so the deployment has been completed so our our site is uh, live now so uh, we can go ahead and check this uh, link as you can see the name of the uh, uh, domain is uh, the name of the service that we have given youtube react app right so this is how like you will name your uh, domain you can also add custom domain as well so let's uh, go to this uh, world Right. as you can see uh, so uh, our react application is uh, deployed on two hosting platforms yeah so that's all for this uh, video so we will see uh, in the next video thank you